the civil services exam is a few days away and every candidate is religiously taking the mock test to check where do they stand. Mock test results are like roller coaster ride. Sometimes you get a great score and sometimes a very low score. But what insights are you deriving from this course apart from being qualified or not qualified as per last year cutoff? The mock test you take should help you make the right decisions to optimize your efforts so that you can score more with the least effort, not just tell you where you stand against the competition. Like for example, preparation strategy that you can execute right now until the final exam and answering strategy you can adopt in the next exam to see an improved score. Let me explain you further with the case of Sushant who took the mock test on Xamplay platform and scored 97.09 marks out of 200. Xamplay platform gives very useful, personalized, actionable insights that no other platform in the world can give. It gives you these three sets of exclusive insights. Your true score, your preparation strategy insights and your attempt strategy insights. Let us deep dive and understand further how these will help Sushant. Whenever you answer any question, there are only three ways you can arrive at an answer choice. The first way is through knowledge or applying a formula. The second way is through process of elimination. And the third way is by J. Mathadi, random choice. Your overall score is a result of picking an answer choice through one of these three ways. Sushant has also used three ways to answer his mock test and got 97.09 out of 200. A deeper analysis reveals that Sushant did not answer 20 out of 100 questions and for the 80 answered questions, 40 questions were using knowledge or formula, 30 questions with process of elimination and 10 questions with random picking. His overall accuracy is only 53% and maximum accuracy being with the process of elimination. He got 27 questions wrong and what is alarming is 17 of those 27 questions he solved are by using formula or knowledge and he still got them wrong. That means for these 17 questions he either made silly mistakes or is carrying wrong understanding of the subject matter and he needs to immediately attend to those subjects to stop losing his score. As civil services prelims has negative marking, had Sushant carefully avoided answering these 27 questions, he could have gained 8.91 marks without any effort. So his true score could have been 100 instead of 97.09 and he would have qualified this test. So Sushant should know which question to avoid answering and what topics he should unlearn and relearn the right way to avoid making such mistakes. That is where the set 2 insights help him. Here the topics are segregated into three sets. The first set is in the danger subjects. These are the subjects where Sushant has terribly gone wrong. If you look at the reason, you can see that he answered them with formula or knowledge, took more time and still got wrong. So these subjects he need to study thoroughly to remove his misunderstanding before learning anything else. These indicators also show how many marks he, he would gain by studying them thoroughly. 
so that he can get enough reason to spend time on them. The second set shows the topics he can attend to if time permits. And the third set shows the topics he mastered and no need to spend any time further on these subjects. Sushant can also check subject-wise analysis of his answering approach. As you can see, certain subjects are answered heavily through random picking and some other through elimination. This gives a visual representation of where one needs to invest their time. This information helps Sushant to strategize his preparation in a scientific manner. The third set of insights gives information on the question one should avoid answering in the exam and those one should answer first. This way, Sushant can devise an attempt strategy. Xamplay is the only platform that can give these rich insights for any mock test and Sushant will be doing these exact actions after seeing this report. Number one. He will invest his time in studying these topics thoroughly and by doing so, he will be gaining 28 marks in his next attempt. Number 2. While answering his next mock, Sushant will answer these questions first and time permitting, he will try to answer these at last. Number 3. Random picking actually worked for Sushant as he gained 3.39 marks through it. Attempted 10 questions, got 3 correct, hence gained 3.39 marks. He will see for a few more marks whether random picking is helping him or not and make a decision on using it in the final exam. You see, by using exam play, Sushant is having a great clarity on his preparation and answering strategy compared to those who did not use it. When you take more mock tests, you can also see how your answering approach is evolving over a period of time and can help you prepare and answer the test smartly with the least effort. If you are wondering what magic we use to give you these insights, here it is. We use an innovative patent pending way to capture your answering approach. Once you choose an answer choice, three buttons pop up through which you can record your method of answering a question. This data for a set of questions of a mock test are run through some simple logic and proprietary algorithms to derive rich, personalized, actionable insights. Any suggestion we give you comes along with the reason of why you should be doing it. Hence, you can be confident about the actionable insights. With these insights, we are confident that you can improve your score tremendously and even if you gain 0.01 marks, you will have a great competitive advantage. You see, last year, all those who scored 97.99 out of 200 did not qualify prelims as the cutoff was 98 marks. Even 0.01 marks matter a lot. If you are smart like Sushant and want to have a tremendous competitive advantage without any additional effort, start taking your mock tests now on Xamply. Strategize your exam prep with Xamply. All the best.